Oh yeah. Going here, move the kale up here. This is where, remember we had those 60 milk cartons. Now we've got, just move this up here to set it up. We might fill this up with a little water to keep, remember I said the more water you can keep in there, keeps it cooler, but we might do something else. Might start some sprouts or something there. Still thinking about it. But up here, I'm excited. We put a couple two by fours. We used to run them like this have a long one but then we'd have one out front and then we couldn't reach what was in the back but my wife said why don't we put two by fours this way and then we can run them that way so now we have several of them I've got a couple more to fit in here and then if we need to we can go on that side and reach the other end of it so clean those up get those ready all right we're getting there Get to planting some microgreens. Now I already filled all these containers up with nutrient solution. If you need to see how to do that, click the little card up at the top of the video. It'll take you to another video, show you how I mix up the nutrients. You've seen me plant the microgreens before. We just gently pull them out of the grow box. You see the roots still there. Place them in the pool noodle. And you place that pool noodle into the grow box. Make sure the roots are touching the nutrient solution. Now over here I've got some broccoli and amaranth left over from the last crop. We're going to be harvesting this. It will hold us over until those new plants are ready. You can see I get some bugs on mine too. Just as long as there's not too much, it's, it's okay. And after this, my wife said she's tired of broccoli greens for now. So I'm just going to grow a couple more. Down here I was experimenting with methy or fenugreek. Real fragrant spice. Plants didn't do too good. But they did go to seed. I got some new seeds. Always like experimenting. We're going to be planting some leaf lettuce. Of course we love amaranth. A little more broccoli. And some tomatoes. The tomatoes won't stay in here the whole time. We're just going to get them started. And then we'll move them to bigger containers. The rest of these plants though will stay in these containers until they get harvested. Now once you get all of these planted out, believe it or not, you're not going to have to do anything to this for about a month at the very least. You can see they're doing pretty good and I haven't done anything to it. They're just sitting here. Now we're going to let these go for another couple of weeks and we'll come back out here and give you another update. At that time, we'll probably be harvesting some lettuce, you know, if we need anything for a sandwich. Now for the new people around here who are wondering what that white box is that all the plants are growing in, that's a downspout. Pick it up at Home Depot, and that's what we use to grow the microgreens into baby greens and into mature leafy greens. Now if you want to learn how to make one of those, I have a playlist. 
I'll link it up above and it shows you step by step how to make them. For those who can't make them or don't have the time, they're still buy one get one free. The link will be down in the description below. And thank you to everyone who's ordered one. It gets me so excited to know there's so many of you out there learning how to grow some of your own food for the very first time. Y'all keep spreading the word because y'all are helping people around the world become more empowered and a little more self-sufficient. It's a wonderful thing. Till next time.